Uh, hi, my name is Luca Corazzina. I'm the executive chef here at Restaurant 312 Chicago. Uh, what we're going to be making today it is uh, the Fiori di Zucca Ripieni, which is the stuffed zucchini blossom, stuffed with uh, fresh mozzarella anchovies in a lighter beer batter. And these beautiful zucchini blossoms, they do come from my roof garden upstairs. Um, it's very easy. The plant takes about a month to grow and all of a sudden the zucchini blossom. You got to pick them in the morning when the zucchini blossoms are open, not during the day because they shut down. The only way I do, I leave a little bit of the stem for presentation and then I take out the flower pollen inside just a little bit. So the zucchini blossom we have, we're going to be using uh, one whole egg. We got some all-purpose flour. We have some beautiful anchovies from Sicily, so they're not so salty. Some fresh mozzarella cheese. I have a little bit of a 312 beer. It's not associated with us, but I use it anyway, and salt and pepper. So the way we're gonna start is, uh, we're gonna start stuffing uh, the zucchini blossoms. So we'll take four nice zucchini blossoms. We're gonna take little pieces of uh, mozzarella cheese. So you can cut them in little squares. So we got the mozzarella cheese. The anchovies also, we're gonna cut it down into small pieces. And the way you're gonna do it, you're gonna take one piece of the mozzarella cheese, push it inside the flour, and on the side you're gonna add one piece of the anchovy. So pretty much that's how it looks like. Even though it's cracked, with the tempura batter that we're gonna be making, it's all gonna seal. So we're gonna repeat the same process until we finish all the zucchini flowers. And this is one dish that I grew up Growing up in Italy, my grandma always made for me. She had a beautiful farm, so she had tons of that. So even for breakfast, this is a great dish. Okay, so we have uh, the zucchini blossom, they're ready here. We're gonna start making the, the little batter. So what we do, we break one whole egg. We're gonna add a, a pinch of the black pepper, a pinch of the salt. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. And then little by little, we're gonna add a little bit of the flour. The flour you're gonna see is, is it's gonna make some lumps, but more flour you're gonna put in, you're gonna smoothen everything out. See how it's getting thicker now? So you wanna whip it until you get rid of all the lumps. See, there's no lumps in there. Now, because I'm gonna add a little bit of the beer, it's gonna become more liquid. So if you look at the consistency right now, it's kind of liquid still. So we're gonna add a touch more flour to finally put the beer inside. Uh, most recipes, they do call for like a baking soda. I just like to use a, just a touch of the beer. Okay. The beer, it's, it's what's gonna help to make it fluffy. Okay, so we have the batter is ready. Meanwhile, what we do, we take a saute pan with the vegetable oil, and we try to get the oil to be around 350 degrees. So, we'll take a little bit of the oil. Just enough so you can fry it. So we're gonna Put it at high heat. I already had a little bit of oil, so it's already kind of warm. So, pretty much you're gonna see, nothing's gonna come out of it. So, we're gonna take the batter all around it. And that's how it looks like. It's pretty much gonna seal. So we're gonna do that with all the zucchini blossom. Now we're ready to fry our zucchini glass. Okay, now we're ready to, the oil is already uh, around 350 degrees. You see it getting a little smoky. So we're gonna take the zucchini flowers and we're gonna put them in the oil. Always when you put the, any, any kind of a food in a hot pan with oil, make sure you, you put it down and you go facing away from you. If you do the other way, the oil is going to splash on you. So, 
There's the zucchini flowers. You see they're not sticking because the oil was hot, so we're gonna flip them over. The way we're trying to do, we're trying to get a little light brown color, golden color on the zucchini blossom. So you, you can notice that three of them got a beautiful color, one is still a little pale, so we're gonna give a little bit more color. You don't wanna overcook this stuff. We're gonna take the zucchini flour and then what I like to do, I like to put them on top of a paper towel so it can absorb all the oil. Okay, we turn off the heat and the zucchini blossom are ready cooked. Okay, for plating the dish, uh, pretty much you don't wanna overpower the dish. Uh, you wanna be able to taste just the zucchini flour. That's what the dish is about. But today, just to give a little color, we're gonna put a little bit of a Mescaline mix or mixed greens, whatever you want to call, on the bottom of the plate. We're going to drizzle just a touch of olive oil. And we're going to put the beautiful zucchini blossom right on top of the mixed greens. And that's it. These are the beautiful zucchini blossom stuffed with mozzarella cheese and anchovies. And it's a great summer little appetizer dish Then not a lot of people know how to do, but this is very easy for anybody to make at home. So enjoy, buon appetito.